Good day, I'm Mark Loon. As you know, HDB and the private apartment resale markets are essentially flat. According to SRX Property, monthly transaction volume for private apartments appear to be settling in the 500 unit range after dipping into the 300 unit range. This is down from 2,050 units at the market's peak in April 2010. Meanwhile, HDB transactions are hovering around 1,500 units per month, down from 3,649 units at the market's peak in May 2010. In addition to transaction volume, prices in both markets are essentially flat. Whenever property prices have flattened after a downturn, people start to ask if it's time to buy. Today, we give you our answer. If you're a homeowner or potential buyer, stay tuned. On today's show, we recommend five questions to ask before buying residential property in Singapore. If you answer yes to all five, then it might be the right time to buy. Next on XTV, with your host, Mark Loon. At cocktail parties, in coffee shops or just around office water coolers, property watchers are debating whether it's a good time to buy or not. Some say yes because prices have flattened and cooling measures have stalled. Others say no because upcoming new supply in the private market and HDB BTOs means prices have some more room to come down. Others are concerned that the economic stresses in China could spill over and hurt Singapore's economy. While still, others say don't worry about China because the government can remove the cooling measures in the event of an external shock to the economy. Plus, some people argue that the devaluation of the renminbi could actually help the property market. Mainland Chinese will rush to move their money offshore to places like Singapore. The 15% additional buyer stamp duty is not a deterrent if one believes the Singapore dollar will continue to appreciate against the renminbi. The truth be told, none of this conjecture matters. Whether the market is up or down is irrelevant if you base your buying or selling decisions on sound research and reason. In today's market, or any market for that matter, there are five questions you should answer if you're contemplating on buying a home. Question number one. Do I, meaning you, believe in the neighborhood of the new home? If you believe in the home's neighbourhood, what's happening with cooling measures and other macroeconomic factors are largely irrelevant. If, over time, you observe a neighbourhood consisting of good amenities, that is, parks, schools, transportation, etc., with healthy price appreciation of homes, then this is a neighbourhood worth considering, regardless of what is happening to Singapore's property price indices. The future value of your home depends on your neighbourhood improving with time. This is why SRX Property provides you with a free web app, My Property Tracker, to track the performance of your neighborhood. You can subscribe for it at srx.com.sg slash tracker. Question number two. Is the home of interest listed at a fair price that is right for me? If you hire a trusted real estate agent, this is an easy question to answer. Use X value, which is available at srx.com.sg, as a starting point to determine if the listed price is within the ballpark of being fair. Your real estate agent should be able to break down the pricing for you using Home Report and mobile apps such as Agent Connect or SRX Analyzer. If you are set on a home and would like a certified valuation, your agent can get one for you from SRX Property. Question number three. Can I negotiate the price down to give me more of a safety cushion against a further downturn in the market? Absolutely negotiate. For a real estate transaction to occur, there must be a willing buyer and a willing seller who agrees on the price. The only way to get there is through negotiation. Again, a trusted real estate agent is invaluable in conducting denegotiation. Look for agents who are skilled at using SRX Home Report and SRX Analyzer. Question number four. Can I afford my monthly mortgage payments if interest rates double or triple? Again, you can turn to My Property Tracker or srx.com.sg to research the answer. At the bottom of every listing, 
There is a mortgage calculator that lets you test different interest rate scenarios to determine the different mortgage payments. In addition, you can determine how much you can borrow under MAS lending rules and what type of homes qualify. Question number 5. Do I have savings or insurance or some fallback plan to pay my mortgage if I hit a temporary rough patch like unemployment or a health issue? It's impossible to eliminate risk, but it is possible to manage risk. Before buying a home, review your savings, insurance policies, and reflect on the progress and potential of your career. If you are confident about your earning power, purchase the insurance and take steps to set aside a rainy day fund, you are in good shape to manage the risk of buying a home. If you can answer yes to all five questions, then you are in good shape to buy a home under any conditions. It is always the right time to buy if you buy the right home at the right price, in the right neighbourhood and have the right safety net in place. And that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching this episode of XTV. Next week, we offer you five questions to ask before selling a home. This is Mark Loon on behalf of SRX Property. Have a good day.